says, don't be anxious about anything. He says, but in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. He goes, instead of stressing about it and worrying about it, I just want you to do one simple thing. Just tell me. With thanksgiving, say, hey, here's the problem. And then don't worry about it anymore. Just move on. Just move on. Go back to rejoicing. Go, go out and play again. Just rejoice. That's the way God wants us to be. And, and you guys, I used to look at this and think, well, don't, don't be anxious about anything. But you know what? I'm a pastor, and so I worry about important things. You know? Like these are people's lives at stake. This is people's eternal security at stake. So it's okay for me to worry a little bit. You guys, that, that's not what it's saying here. It's saying, no, I don't want any of my children worrying about anything. I want them to pray to me. But don't you sometimes pray about things and then worry about it still? This was something I was convicted about a, a, a few years ago, and I shared it with you guys, those of you guys who are here, because I said this, as, as a boss, some of you guys have some people under you. It, it could be at home or wherever or, you know, and children workers, whatever. You, you just have people who are supposed to follow your orders somewhere, right? Um, now, have you ever, you know, when you give someone an assignment, like, you know, you got all these tasks to do, you're like, I'm going to hand this to this guy, I'm going to hand this to her, I'm going to hand this to this person. When you give them an assignment, do you worry about it getting done when you give someone an assignment? Usually, right? Yeah, it depends. Depends on who it is, right? I mean, usually, I mean, aren't there those people you give assignments to and you call them the next day? Hey, did you get it done? I didn't think you would, so that's why I'm calling you, you know? <laughs> get it done. And there's people like that. We all know who those people are, and it's just great that it's none of us, right? And, uh, but but all, all those people. Now, now, are there times, though, when you give someone a task, and once you hand it off to them, you have total peace. You don't even worry about it. You know it's going to get done. Are there people, are, are there times when that happens? Why? Why is it that certain times you can not worry about it? Trust, yeah. You trust. That person's already proven herself. That person's proven himself. Every time I give him something, he gets it done. So what does that tell you about when you present a request to God and then you worry about it afterwards? Yeah, you don't trust God. That killed me when I figured that out. I thought, I don't really believe he's listening to me sometimes. I don't really believe that the God of the universe just heard my prayer and I told him, you know what? Here, I'm giving it to you. You do whatever is going to bring you most glory, what's best for me, for you, for the world. You just do it. Here, here's my problem. And then afterwards, I'm like, man, is he really going to do it? God, did you do that? You know, I asked you a week ago and it doesn't seem like you're doing it the way I think you should do it, you know? And we worry, we worry, we worry. Why? Because we don't trust we don't really trust our prayers. Then when you don't trust your prayers, James says, you know, you're a double-minded man. You, you shouldn't expect anything from God because you pray and you doubt. He goes, and when you doubt, don't think you're going to receive anything. God wants us to go, wait, well, he did speak the world into existence. He could probably fix this if he want. He, he wants this confidence, this peace of his children. Of, of course you can do this. You're God Almighty. And I'm not going to worry about it afterwards. Because if there's one person I ought to be able to trust, it's you. So here it is. I told you. I prayed about it. I give it to you. I'm not complaining. I'm doing so with thanksgiving. So I'm going to go back out and play, all right? I'm going to go back out and just rejoice in the fact that you're going to return anytime. And even though I have all this trouble in this world, you said that, you know what, in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I've overcome the world. And so, God, I'm just not going to worry about it. I gave it to you. Whatever happens, happens. I'm going to work my best. I'm going to go on. But I'm going to keep rejoicing in you. Because I want the world to be envious of the dad that I have. And I want them to want him. But when his children are out, stressing out, freaked out like the rest of the world, why would they have any desire to have the God that you have? I'm telling you, this is a sin like every other sin. And I'm not trying to stress you out like, okay, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to rejoice if it kills me. You know, no, it's, it's, but it is. I mean, really just look at things. Take things in perspective. That's why after he says that, he says, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. If you really came into the presence of God and lifted it up to him, it says the peace of God 
Think about just that phrase, the peace of God. The peace that God has. Can you imagine how much peace God has right now? I mean, we don't have peace at times because we don't have control, right? You're at peace when you're in control of everything. I'm in control of the situation. I got it figured out. So I'm at peace. It's those times when you realize you don't have control. But what if you're God and you can just make anything happen and you never wake up one day going, oh, what, what, what? And you're never surprised because you've ordained everything. The peace of God. Do you think God's ever stressed? Worried about the future? And he says, you see that peace? That's the peace you can have. See, because when you're close to God, when you're intimate with God in prayer and you realize, oh, that's right. You mapped out the beginning and the end in this book. You know everything that's going to happen, so you're not worried about it. I just poured out my heart and you're not even worried. You know everything. And you see that peace. The Bible says that'll be the peace that guards your heart so that your heart's not freaking out and you're not having all these problems and stressed out. Why? Because the peace of God is guarding your heart. That's why when other people are losing their mind, you're not losing your mind. You've got this reasonableness about you. Why? Because this peace of God 